what is going on everybody this is rico 69 and i'm bringing you guys something for everyone out there that has a nexus 7 2 or any next or nexus 7 1 and they want some stuff i'll be doing this series i like to call it tips and tricks with the nexus 7 uh 2 fhd 13 2013 um today i, I want to show everyone out there that that kind of dislikes that they kind of dislike the fact that they have a na navigation bar that you want full screen like you guys can see right now i don't have a navigation bar there but you guys can see towards the bottom left that i do have like a little red bar right there i mean it goes away just like the navigation bar does but it's right there if i click it it brings it right up but if i want to play games full screen for instance modern war modern combat 4 or dead trigger or in or shadow guns shadow gun dead zone anything you want full screen you do not want the navigation bar to be there this will really help a lot. I mean, I, mean, I personally, I, I, I don't really have a problem. Well, sometimes I do have a problem with it, so that's why I really have my setup like this. Um, so I'm going to take you guys to the app that really helps. Oh, by by the way, you guys really need Root for this. Um, Almost everything I'll be doing with you guys will probably need Root. If it does not, I'll let you guys know. If it does, it'll be in a title or the description. So the app is actually called, where is it? Um, It's called Auto Hide. Auto Hide. Soft key. It's made by GMD. You can just search up um hide nav bar on in the Play Store. You guys will see that icon. It'll be GMD. I'm so my auto hide soft keys. I don't really know the Play Store link right now, but it should be in the description below. I'll make sure I put it there. So check that out. And there's a lot. There's a lot of settings. Also, there's a pro version, so you can change that little red to the little red little trigger button as what it called you can change it to any other color you can like make the position you can change the position of it you can uh, make the sensitivity sensitivity of it which mean like the open area that you can touch in you see right now that little gray around it actually shows like the air the touchable area which it'll go off but this, that bar it was never stay the same well but that bar will stay the same and uh, you can make it wider if you like to I mean I think yeah you can make it for your whole bottom screen but I don't want to because some things require me to, let's, I guess, touch the bottom of my screen. I don't, I don't want to try it, so I'm going to make it as small as possible. And without having a pro version, I'm, I would not begin the pro version um, because this version will just gets the job done already. I do not mind the little red. I mean, if I can, I would change it to blue, but that's not enough for me to buy the pro version. So, yeah, that right there will also, like, the best app you can have if you do not want your navigation bar there because... I know other apps you can use, you press a little button on the on-screen button and it brings up a home thing. But, I mean, this is still the simplest way. And plus, you can change you can change the spacing of the um, navigation bar when it does come up. It's a lot of stuff. You guys should really check out this app. So, Rico69, I'm pretty much signing off. Have a nice day, guys.